Hello and welcome back to the Python 3.4 Beginner's Tutorial and today I will be talking about try, accept, and finally. So let's say that you have a program that wants you to put in a number of some sort. So you could say um, num equals and then the input of what is uh, 5 plus 1. Now obviously we're not going to be checking to see if this is actually correct, but we want them to put in an integer value and not a string, so we can do that by putting in int, which basically just means put uh, whatever is stored in num, turn it into an integer. So like for example, instead of it being uh, 5 plus 1, 6, it would be stored as 6, so as an actual integer and not a string. So we can have that and then we can go ahead and print num okay so let's say that uh, I go ahead and run python try.py it says what is 5 plus 1 and I put in uh, instead of putting in the number 6 I can put in 6 it's going to say traceback most recent calls and that's going to give me a value error and basically what this is meaning is I didn't put in anything that you could, uh, you know, store in as an int. So I didn't put in a number. Essentially, is what this is saying. I used a string, so it can't convert strings into integers unless it contains numbers in them. So basically, what it's just saying is value error. You didn't, you know, you put in a string. So a way to fix that is with a try and accept. So we don't want our program to quit every time we get an error like a value error or something like that so one way we could do that is having a try and accept and basically what it is is it's like built in uh, built in error handling I guess you could say and um, I'm gonna put my whole thing in a while loop really quick and it's going to be in a while true which just means like run the whole time our, or our script is open or we're running our program so I'm going to have the same thing so I'm gonna have uh, actually I'm gonna have a try here and what try just means is uh, basically this is the part that the user could mess up on or do something that we don't want the user to do so now we put in num equals and then the int of the uh, input and we just put what is we'll just we'll just do what is what is a number or give me a number something like that you know give me a number okay so basically what this is gonna do is after this we're gonna print num oops num but let's say okay well this is the part that we they could do something we don't want them to do you know they could throw an error at us because they did something wrong so what we do is we do an accept here. Now, after this accept, we could put the we have to put the uh, basically the name of the error that uh, we want to you know fix kind of. So we got a value error here. So if I just type in value error, and uh, this is just meaning when we ever whenever we get a value error, uh, instead of exiting the program do this so we want it to just print that's uh, not a number and since it's a while true it will go through this and it will go back up to the top so back up to here basically so if we give that a run I uh, run this okay give me a number five that's cool give me a number and I say FG that's not a number and then give me a number again so it just keeps looping and I'm gonna put a new line here so that you know it whoops uh, it looks a little cleaner okay so if you want to end it I'm on Windows so press control C if you're on Mac press command C or whatever uh, Mac is so if we do that five okay it prints it out to give me a number and then you know DF df3 that's not a number okay so you get the whole idea right here and it just uh, basically this means that I just ended it essentially or this is where I stopped that right here so if I clear that again okay so 
we can do this for every single error we get so uh, you know but obviously it can't stop syntax errors because it doesn't know how to run it if you have it wrong so if I just you know misspell int and run it it's gonna give me a syntax error and I can't really you know do a try except for syntax errors because the program doesn't know how to run it if you're not giving it specific instructions so uh, sorry about that by the way my window is open so um a way you can do all you know accept all errors without having to individually type it is just do accept whoops accept and then a colon but uh, this is bad because you can't necessarily know what kind of error they're getting so for example um, I could just do accept and for all my errors I'm gonna say you got an error except for my program that I wrote uh, you can't necessarily get another error besides typing in uh, you know like uh, anything else besides a string or whatever so I could do this but that's pretty bad because say you have like a math operation so instead of printing it you print num divided by or you do like 8 divided by num well if num 0 then you have to accept a divide by 0 error but uh, I will get into that probably another time so uh, the last thing is finally and basically what finally does is um, so if you think in if statements this is kind of the if except it's more like if you did something wrong then you know do this if you get that error but finally is kind of the you know this may happen you know this may happen right here but this finally will always happen so uh, at the end since this is the end of our loop we'll just put this is the end of the loop and I'll put a period here and you will see after this happens it will go back up to here so if I run main or try out pi it says give me a number five okay this is the end of the loop give me a number so finally it's just this will always happen except uh, is a good way of handling errors so rather than breaking your whole um, you know program then you know just handle it in here so just print that's not a number rather than exiting out of the whole entire program so if you have any questions about try accept and finally please comment below and I will answer them for you and if you like the video then leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one